The girl was so miserable that at the age of 10, both parents were killed by Greek soldiers and were made into slaves and humiliated. She was abandoned by the Greeks because of her wounds and illness. Fortunately, a Persian warrior took her in and gave her the name Eva. Under the warrior's tutelage, Eva practiced her martial arts every day and soon, she was even more powerful than the warrior. Although she was a girl, she eventually became the supreme commander of the Persian navy with her powerful force and cruel tactics. She was ready to take revenge like to Greece. At this time, a Persian empire, under the leadership of the king, invaded Greece. The war between the two countries depended on the plain of Marathon, but the Persian empire did not expect the Greek warriors to be so brave. Several attacks failed to defeat Greece. When the Greek naval commander sought the Persian king on the bow of his ship during the war, he drew his bow to full strength and gave the Persians a final blow, sealing the final victory for Greece. It was also during this war that a Greek soldier ran 42 kilometers straight to bring the news of victory back to Athens and eventually died. This is what gave birth to our present-day marathon. In honor of this brave soldier, returning to Persia, the king knew that he was going to die, so he summoned his naval commander Eva and entrusted her with his royal son Xerxes. The king, who had already seen the power of Greece, persuaded his son not to attack Greece again and restrained Eva, who only wanted revenge by saying that only the gods could defeat Greece. Eva, seeing that the old king was already disgusted, understood that her chance for revenge had finally come. She only had to take the weak crane Xerxes into her hands, and she could turn the entire Persian Empire into a tool for her revenge. Eva first coaxed the prince to go alone to the desert, to accept the Persian Empire to seal the god's test. Since only a god can defeat Greece, she turns the prince into a god. This way she could attack Greece without violating the old king's will. While the prince was entering the ravages of the desert, he she then killed all the ministers around the prince in the Persian royal court. When the prince completed his transformation, his eyes were like fire and he became Xerxes, the divine emperor of Persia. Despite the very high status of the god emperor, he would actually become Ava's puppet of revenge. Thus, the powerful Persian empire was manipulated by this woman to launch the second Persian war. This time, under the call of the divine emperor, millions of Persian soldiers were led by the divine emperor, and Eva acted as the commander of the national navy to separate and prepare for the destruction of the enemy army. Knowing that the Persian army was attacking Athens, General D, who had shot the old king, decided to lobby the city-state to assemble an army to meet the investment. But it took time for Athens, which did not have a standing army, to assemble one. Therefore, the cooperation of another important Greek city-state, Sparta, was needed. So, the general went to Sparta to persuade Leonidas, the king of Sparta, to join the army. But the general was refused in Sparta. The Spartans did not want to cooperate with the Athenians. King Leonidas, dissatisfied with the prophet's orders, led 300 warriors to hot springs pass to prepare to meet the Persian army in pursuit of the Spartan pride. The heroic deeds of the Spartan king were the 300 warriors held in the previous work. Knowing this news, the general's trip to Sparta is not nothing. Although the cooperation with the Spartans failed, he also gained a valuable piece of information. His strategic career with the Spartan king he could safely attack at sea for three days after the per capita reinforcements. The big battle was coming. The general first used the advantage of the warship's flexibility and swiftness to set up his position in advance. Then, the Greek warships took a ramming corner to impact the enemy ships to interrupt the part of the line. The Persian naval line was large but not fast enough. The Persian naval force was easily defeated. Eva killed the losing commander. The next day, the two armies again drew up in formation ready for another battle. The Persian navy took the lead in the charge, but the Greek fleet retreated instead of attacking and led the Persian fleet's huge and heavy ships into the narrow bay. Due to the unfamiliar terrain and foggy weather, the Persians were unaware that they had been trapped by the Greek army. They were surrounded and completely lost their advantage, and eventually all of them died in battle. Seeing the defeat of all the generals, under her command to the Greek general, Eva had another plan. The woman changed into a sexy dress just to meet the man. When the general entered her room, Eva said to the general that your two victories caused very little damage to the Persian army. Because you have too few soldiers, even though you are smart, you are still not enough to be an enemy of my Persian empire. If you can join our army, your talent will be fully displayed. The general stonewalled Eva with words of deep love for Athens and belief in democracy. He thought that I had an enemy with your emperor. 
and if I joined Persia, your emperor would kill me, but I wouldn't dare. Eva thought that the general was not moved by fame and fortune, so she took off her clothes and exposed her legs to tempt the general. In the evening, Eva threw another olive branch at the general. This time the general refused Eva. The two fell to work together and soon came to a third battle. Eva brings out her weapon, a huge ironclad ship full of kerosene. This iron ship spewed oil and fire towards the Greek fleet. Eva set up a series of plans to send a dead body, disguised as a suicide bomber, submerged in the water to approach the Greek warships. When the twos were seen climbing onto the Greek warship, Eva ignited the arrows with precision and remote detonation. The admiral's flagship was blown to pieces. Fire engulfed countless lives. Greek ships instantly disappeared in flames. The fleet suffered heavy casualties, and the general would have died if not for the great loyalty of his men. Meanwhile, King Leonidas and his 300 warriors were surrounded by the Persian army. Because of the betrayal of a hunchback dwarf, the king finally dies. All 300 warriors died. The fallen king was finally beheaded by the divine Emperor Xerxes. In one night, two powerful Greek generals were defeated at the same time, and there was no one left to stop the Persian army's march. The god Emperor and Eva took Athens. The Spartan king was defeated and his head was cut off by the Persian god Emperor. There was no longer anyone who could stand against the Persian army's army. The Persian army was ready to annex the whole Greek land. The Persian Empire was about to become the most powerful kingdom in the world. This man was the last hope for Greece. The general knew that the death of the king in battle was great bad news for a normal city-state. But for this group of Spartans with muscles in their brains, it was a matter of inspiration. The general, who knew the Spartan character well, rushed to Sparta to persuade the Spartan queen to join the battle. Although the queen had just suffered the loss of her husband, she agreed to the general's request in order not to disgrace her husband's honor. The general returned to the army. He knew well that although he and Leonidas had failed, they had bought three days of precious assembly time for the Greek allies. Now, what he could do was not to wait but to take the initiative and drag the Persian navy into the trap to create opportunities for the allied forces. The final battle, the general also confessed that he had no more tactics. This last battle would be all about luck. The general took his horse and prepared to kill the enemy commander when the ships met, just like he had shot the old king. When the two ships met, the general's horse was on board to escort the general to Ava's ship. The general rode off his horse and instantly killed four of Ava's personal guards and engaged in a single fight with Eva. Although the general can fight well, but this Eva is also very powerful. The two fought to a draw and it was difficult to tell the winner. At this time, the Egyptian sea wind, waiting for three days of the monsoon came also blew the general's reinforcements. The roar of the Spartans shook the sky, and the rising sails covered the sky. Eva knew she was about to fail. Eventually, she died. The movie also ended in the sound of the Spartans and Greek shouting and killing. The film is the same as the previous one, which was adapted from a comic book. The whole film has a kind of oil painting texture to highlight the history of the war. The plot cites a lot of historical information, such as the Battle of Marathon and the Naval Battle of Salami Bay. But there are traces of artistic processing and the real history is more or less different.